you've got the first property, you've sold that. To do that then consistently for the years afterwards is not very easy. I was just curious as to how did that go from from that very first property? Well, even from that very first property, I realized that people were buying the product that I was going to deliver off the plan. Okay. So I needed to create... Uh, you know, belief in my brand or belief in even to start with the name, you know, the brand of Jonathan Hallinan so that people believed in that, that they would take the risk to buy off the plan, believing that I would deliver what I said I was going to deliver. Okay. So right from the start, I realized that I would need to make less margin to build the brand, which is what I did, and deliver a product that everybody, or a lot of people would want. Okay. From, and I did that through design. Yeah. You know, I created a beautifully designed, beautifully built and certainly always surpassed the expectations of the people that had left their trust in me, bought off the plan from me. And how early did you realise that design was that crucial component to that? I really think right from the beginning. You yeah. know, I still had an interest in furniture at that very young age. I still buy knoll chairs, sarin and tables. These pieces were designed in the 50s. Um, they're still in my office today. Okay. I think if you have a beautifully designed product, not an expensive product, beautifully designed that it will last the test of time. People will care for it. They'll maintain it. And also people will be proud to own it. If you're proud to own something and we maintain it beautifully, then it will also last it. This value will last and grow. Okay. And how, you know, you, you're saying before that that had always been there. You, you've done your first few properties. When did it go from, you know, doing, because at some point you wanted to focus just on, Bayside suburbs. When was that change from sort of outer suburbs to the Bayside? Look, I started in Bentley. The first property I ever bought was yeah. your home place, Bentley. And look, the goal was to get down to Bayside. And I saw that Bayside was a very cl clicky crowd of people. Everybody knew each other. I thought, well, this could be perfect. If I can get my great brand in there and be known for delivering an amazing product, it'll become the product in the area. Uh -huh. So I got in there maybe about five years after I started. Okay. And I stayed there for 15 years and 15. delivered about 250 million worth of apartments there to the downsizer. Wow. So for 15 years, you focus on the Bayside. When, when did you start focusing on inner city suburbs and what drew, what was the attention grabbing there? Well, it got to the stage where to control a downsizer product, I had to sell it. I had to hand it over. There were many buyer changes. It was that it was totally consuming my life and it was right. very intimate. So I couldn't, I couldn't get bigger because, you know, I needed more of me or more of my time. Um, it was also a passion of mine to deliver a tower in the city I live. Okay. So then those two combined, what I did was use the same design standards, aesthetics, that I'd built right down to the minute details of doors, paint on hinges, um, gaps between doors and walls, all of these standards, I then took to the investor market okay. and then created these product where I was delivering, you know, at time 100 to 400 million worth of product a year. Right. That's very interesting. So it was just by necessity that you just had to move into this area if you wanted to grow. If I wanted to grow. I couldn't grow any further in the downsizer market. Wow. Okay. There's a lot of... How do you view yourself as a developer? Like, what do you think the game of a developer is? Like, what's your role? Uh, look, it's too diversified. It's, you know, <laughs> it's so broad. And yeah. as I said, it's so... Our property market and property development industry is so sophisticated and so competitive. I think it's one of the most sophisticated in the world. And really? I've certainly travelled the world to look at the competition. Um to explain that briefly, we, you know, it would just take too long. It's so broad. And uh, why do you think it, why do you think it's so sophisticated here in Australia? Uh, because of our growth, we've been able to, you know, our immigration policies have allowed us to grow, you know, faster than most cities of the world. And Australians love great design, you know. And we also are very into property. We're into the TV shows like The Block that allow us to want great design, want want to, you know, have these ambitions to live in, you know, beautiful places. So, you know, we have developers now creating amazing, small, affordable places to live. Yeah, it's a very good point. I just, I wouldn't have, I don't know, I would have assumed places like Hong Kong, New York would be far more complex. But I think based on what you're saying, that makes sense. It's just, you know, the, the market here demands that. 
a bit more. And we demand it at a low price. Yeah. It's not, it's much, you know, it's easy for me to create a beautiful $2 million apartment. It's incredibly hard for me to create an amazing place to live with a place for everything that you own in a product that's 380 to 500,000 or yeah. maybe up to 600,000. And that's really the mark of our investor product or, you know, and a lot of our occupiers buy it as well is 380 to 650 grand yeah. to create a beautiful place to live at that price point is is it's, very difficult. It's incredibly hard. Yes. Yeah. To, yeah. I can imagine that. I can imagine the demand as well because uh, Australians or uh, when people come hunting for what they want, particularly thing like a home, mm. you know, home is a very passionate thing. It can be quite intense. It's, yeah, the industry that you're in is a very, I can imagine, very intense at times. Oh, look, it is. And you're dealing with large amounts of money as well. So, yeah. we don't need to get too much wrong to get into trouble. It's a, it's a serious business. 